gió đã mừng vì bước em qua lá hát từ bàn tay thơm tho lá khô vì đời chờ cũng như đời người mãi âm Normally I, I don't see them when they bring things I just either throw it out the window and they catch it <laughs> <laughs> or, or they put it outside of the big gate and, and when I'm ready, you know, after my exercise, I go out, anything there, anybody there. <laughs> no, I really do throw things out the window. <laughs> not not because I'm angry with him or anything, it's just safer and easier, you know, I'm lazy. <laughs> to go to the gate, it takes a few more steps. <laughs> Yeah, my poor old legs. You know, so I just open a window, throw it outside, <laughs> and if he doesn't catch it, then uh, <laughs> then uh, the floor will catch it. <laughs> it's not necessary to throw it at him when he's there. I just finish, I throw it out, and I call, "Hey, pick up!" <laughs> Hello. <laughs> And uh, normally I would go out to the gate, the big gate, you know, not the door of the house, but the gate outside of the garden, and then leave things there, and then call them to come. So we don't, oh, we don't always see each other, except when I need muscle men to, <laughs> you know, move uh, dogs, uh, caves, or dogs, uh, then they're heavy, or uh, help me to bring my luggage or something out to the car or something, otherwise they won't see me. Yeah, we work in like ghosts. <laughs> the ghost courier and the ghost receiver. <laughs> no need to sign anything. No ringing bell, nothing. I just know when they're there. The smell comes before them. <laughs> special, special smell. <laughs> Even my dogs smell it. <laughs> Uh, before they come to my gate, they already whoa, 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 whoa. Who, 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 who are you? <laughs> yeah, they don't like anybody to come near me. No, no, no. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. <laughs> I told you my dogs my dogs speak English, you don't believe it. <laughs> my attendant, my assistant, they heard them. Ow, ow, out. <laughs> out. <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> Except the one girl she's more elegant in speaking English. I love you. The others all talk like that, you know, very <laughs> unruly. Go, go, go! <laughs> ow, ow, ow! <laughs> they, talk, they talk a lot, these dogs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they bark at anything, they bark at anything. Moving or not moving, quiet or noisy, <laughs> they just bark at them. I don't see anybody. At night they go out, bark, 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 they're always there, nobody. Why do you keep barking? Squirrel! <laughs> yeah, they do that all the time. Make themselves look important. Yeah. I said, never mind, leave the squirrel alone. They live here before we came. <laughs> they should bark at you, no? <laughs> Squirrels, birds, worms, <laughs> butterflies, anything. That's why I have a fence around wherever I live. Yeah. I want to protect the other beings <laughs> from my dogs. <laughs> uh, because also, I protect my dogs so they don't get out. Some of the black group we call them. We have two groups, you know, two leaders in the house. So I have to <laughs> separate them. Breakfast, white group, lunch, black group. <laughs> dinner, white <laughs> group. <laughs> Otherwise, the two leaders will be showing off with each other, you know? I live here, the other one says, me too. <laughs> this one says, she loves me. Oh, she loves me more. <laughs> 
And this black group, we call them black group because they are the majority, not because all of them are black. Two blacks and one uh, golden, yellow. Hmm. We call them the black group because there's one black leader and one white leader. I thought only humans were racist, but <laughs> <laughs> my dogs are also two groups and they don't get on with each other. Even when they were little already, we have to always separate them. And I say, no, 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 <laughs> no, no biting, no biting. <laughs> uh, and then they always try to V for the ultimate position. <laughs> and this black group, the mother, she is, oh, she's an escape artist. She always escapes anywhere possible. I have never been anywhere without her escaping. At least 10 times before we could figure out how we, <laughs> we couldn't contain her inside. It's not like I control her, but she gets out and she sniffs at everything and goes through a thorny bus and comes home with one eye injured inside even. You know, one time it took many weeks to heal. She had to wear the head comb and it hurts my heart when I see any of my dogs wear that. They feel so uncomfortable. If I wore that, I wouldn't like it. So whatever they feel, I feel. Whenever she goes out, she comes home with something, either mud all over the body like a hawk just rolled in his muddy poodle, <laughs> or she's injured somewhere, scratch her ears, split her toe, or injures her eye, you know, it's very troublesome. And the problem is, it's not that she goes out alone. If she goes out, the little one, the most skinny one, she eats, but she doesn't gain any weight. No problem with her. Just sometimes she eats and then she goes out and plays. She doesn't eat anymore, and I don't know. Before, we had to fit her with syringe. But I was worried it might go through the wrong, wrong hole, you know, so I stopped that. I don't let them do that anymore. And she's healthy, you know, she jumps the highest and she runs the fastest. It's just, she's so skinny. Looks like a poor house dog. <laughs> Whenever the mother goes out, she, this one follow her, no matter what. I said, why did you have to follow this stupid mother of yours, huh? There's nothing good outside, nothing is better than here, right? Uh, I have to protect her. <laughs> <laughs> to protect her. But the leader, you know, the bigger one, the biggest of the uh, black group, she's supposed to be the leader. She, she promoted herself anyway, <laughs> ever since she was young. Just because when she was a kid, when I first adopted her, she was only one month something, all of them, one month and a few days. And we even had to give them vegan milk so that they still, you know, like feeding. Yeah. And the mother had no more milk because she also adopted another six or uh, another three, four, I can't remember which one is what. I can, it's just that I have to think about it, then I can remember, sort it out. And then she adopted more because other mothers had been poisoned to death in front of them, in front of their eyes like that. So I had to take them in quick, yeah? But this mother had no more milk, the doctor say that, so we had to give them extra vegan milk, soya milk and stuff like that, and we make vegan congee, all kinds of stuff mix them together and they ate it and they were well. Or oh, you can see them, yeah? Whenever they come on TV, they're not unwell. <laughs> yeah, before the mother was just skin and bones. You could count every bone in her body. So skinny and so, really, the, the skin was just sticking on, you know? But now she's plump and beautiful, not fat, but the biggest one, the black leader, I call her. Yeah. She's black, you know, <laughs> she's a leader. She thinks he's the leader, yeah. And the other boy also thinks he's the leader, yeah. <laughs> so never mind, both of them think the same thing, so they cannot be together. <laughs> when I'm there, of course, it's okay, but it's kind of risky and it's too much work for me to have to watch them, you know? Mm. So we better make it too black and white, you know, clear, black and white. <laughs> and then, this big one, though she's the leader, she is not stupid enough to go out and protect the mother. <laughs> she stays to protect me. I say, why don't you go with them? Huh? Even he goes with your mother, why don't you go? She say, I protect you, I stay here. And truly she does that. Anybody nearby, she already smells. Ow, 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 ow. 
Go, 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 go. <laughs> you know dogs, they, they speak in English very clearly. Go, 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 go. <laughs> so one time I opened my big gate to the, the garden inside has a fence, you know, and there's a big gate to separate it from outside. And I opened my gate to, to get my documents, yeah. At that time I didn't, I, I did not have enough time to think of throwing them out the window. It's so much more convenient, huh? I do it now, so easy. <laughs> it took me one month to realize that I could throw things out the window. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm that busy. Yeah, so busy, busy like that. Busy with many little things also. Settling down, arranging things so I can find them easily. And some big things like like sharpening my eyebrow pencils. <laughs> takes time, you know, everything takes time. And I'm alone, you know. Even to sharpen the eye pencil is not that easy. It breaks and then you have to do it again. <laughs> what kind of lousy company can't even sharpen the eyebrow pencil without breaking it? Huh? And I don't know where to complain. They wrote their company name very, very, very small. <laughs> I wrote super eyebrow pencil, very big. Everything else is so small. And I don't always have this magnifying glass to look at, so I don't care, I cannot sue them anyway. I'm vegan, you know, and <laughs> practitioner yoga, you know? And so. Anyway, I opened the, the gate. Now it's easy, I know. You know, I have a, a golf car outside, I just throw it on the golf car. It's covered from wind and rain and wonderful. I don't have to even walk out anymore. But I have to walk out to take the pickup because they cannot throw it through my window. <laughs> I can throw out, <laughs> but they cannot throw it. <laughs> I just realized that this morning, after I discovered I could throw documents out the window, of course, tied up in the forever used plastic bag to protect from rain. And we have a special bag, yellow color, always for documents. <laughs> I throw it out easily, yeah? A piece of cake, boom. <laughs> and then just die two, three numbers. Hello, pick up. <laughs> <laughs> then it's done. <laughs> Life is easy. <laughs> but they cannot realize how to make it more easy for me. No, they cannot. I still need to go out to, to bring the documents in. One day I went out to open the gate, the big gate, to get the documents. From the big gate, you cannot see inside the house. Yeah, me, I also cannot see outside. It's a different part of the, of the <laughs> hot property. <laughs> and then she escaped, you know, she ran out through my legs and went outside, the big one. Mother and the kid, the other kid were gone already. And uh, I was waiting for them to come back. I knew they would come back. It was just many hours later, all muddy, uh, all clip, and <laughs> like they had been in a mud fight or something. <laughs> oh, man. And then it began again, shower, washing, cleaning, drying. <laughs> oh, you think it's fun, you're laughing. Yeah. Wait until you take care of my dog. <laughs> and she escapes all the time. And now we put cement all over under the fence, hopefully. She won't escape, but I don't know about that. <laughs> She's so clever, you know. She finds anywhere, anything possible. She climbs on the tree first, if there's a tree nearby, and then she jumps over. <laughs> or she digs a hole underneath. If she sees any little hole like this, she can make it bigger. <laughs> Patience. <laughs> Patience is the best virtue. <laughs> she learns it from SMTV. <laughs> Digging, digging, digging until it's big enough for her. Gió đã mờ vì bước em qua, lá hát từ bàn tay thơm tho, lá khô 